For this video, I will demonstrate placing a connector on the end of a 25 pair cable. This tool is used for the AMP, AMP, or CHAMP connectors. This is the most common tool that's available on eBay and in the market. I have the Amphenol placed into the tool and there's a thumb screw right here that is used to put tighten down so that you put pressure in the Amphenol so it does not move around while you're crimping the lead onto it. We're looking at the tool as it would be set up to fan out the 25 pair cable. I have a connector laying next to the tool that I will insert into the chamber that would hold the connector. Every Amphenol connector will have the beginning lead number one which will be the blue and the white lead of the white blue pair. On a 25 pair Amphenol it would be 1 and 26 with a white blue. This is with the Amphenol installed into the tool. We're looking at the color code for a female Amphenol. This particular side which is the left hand side is the ring side of the conductors. This is the right side of the tool which is the tip side of the conductors. You'll notice it has 26 on the right and 50 on the left. This is the right side of the tool which is the tip side of the conductors. You'll notice it has 26 on the right and 50 on the left. I've placed a cable inside of the tool that will be terminated on a female amphenol. This particular tool was the least expensive tool of the five or so different styles of tools that were manufactured. These are also the least expensive amphenols that you can buy. TRW Cinch and Amphenol were very high-end Amphenol connectors. There was also a 3M connector, but it did not become a popular mainstay connector. So I will start terminating the cable at the violet slate and working up to the white blue. With This works the same way as terminating cables on 66 blocks. If I put down, starting here, which would be the violet slate and then the slate violet, and up here would be the white, blue, and blue, white. As I lay the leads down one by one, they're not in the way of each other. If I was to try to terminate this with the white, blue, and then blue, white, then it would be in the way of the white, orange, orange, white, and so forth. So my recommendation is to always begin at the bottom and work up. I've placed many thousand amphenols on cable and even though I haven't done this very much in the recent years, it should only take you three to five minutes to terminate a cable like this. And once I get my first pair out, I usually get the pairs out of the way so I don't have to contend with them flopping in my face. I'm going to try to do this without being in the way of the camera as much as possible. And this is really good cable that I'm using here. It's dark cable, fairly well twisted together. Some people like to spend the time to separate out the groups of five, which if you want to do that, that's fine. To me, you're not gaining anything by doing it, other than maybe feeling good about yourself.
Now I have the red brown that got in there, so I need to find the mate to the violet orange, and here it is. Some cables, um, the pairs are not well twisted together, and when that happens, uh, it can become a little challenging. But again, it's not that big of a deal. People who've done this many hundred times um, come up with some of their own shortcuts and ways they like doing it. So I don't want to sit here and say there's only one way because that's not a true statement. Kind of depends on the person who is uh, doing the work. And like anything else, if you only do one or two, you're not going to be proficient. If you're doing hundreds of them, you would become proficient at it. And personally, uh, you lose interest in putting connectors on cable prior to starting. But I've also put on thousands of connectors, so there is no super thrill doing this by any means. And you can also, if you really do this a lot, you don't have to necessarily do them in pair order. I like to, but that's just me. And once you're done, you can go through and verify the conductor that they're actually in the correct order. I'm kind of skipping around here a little bit, which is probably not good for a demonstration, but it is what it is. I don't want to re-terminate this cable just for a video. Also helps if you do this when you're 20 years younger. So I have 15 pairs already found out. So I'll be doing the red slate, which is pair number 10 of a 25 pair cable. I'm on the sixth pair of the cable, I'm sorry, the fifth pair of the cable, which is the white slate. And then the fourth pair the third pair the second pair All right, I have all 25 pairs fanned out, so I will verify my colors just to make sure I don't have a mistake. So we have the white, blue, white, orange, white, green, white, brown, white, slate, red, blue, red, orange, red, green, red, brown, red, slate, black, blue, orange, green, brown, slate, yellow, blue, orange, green, brown, slate, violet, blue, orange, green, brown, slate. And then, of course, on the ring side, we have the five pairs, and I've done this enough time to know that I can tell they're in order. With that being said, I will flip up the part that holds the amphenol, and I will close 
both the left and the right side of the amphenol and then you will see here how these wires are kind of proofed out so I'm going to carefully push them in here without getting them pulled out of the comb and then you go through and you pull out the slack and when you're done you should have almost no slack left and I'll pull it out a little bit more and that is important when you go to put the hood on that you don't have too much slack then you close the handles and you crimp both sides and sometimes if your tool is brand new you can pull the wires off um, without opening it up but this has had so many amphenols made it's kind of flaky at times once it's done I always recramp it just to make sure then you remove the latch take the amphenol out and I have successfully put on a connector so now I got a little bit of jacket here that I should um, pull up and I will do that here in a second it's not on the camera but I have enough of the sheath pulled up on it so then I'm going to go ahead and put the hood on the hood is placed on the re cable retainers on and then an amphenol screw would go through the end which I'll put on off of the camera which would poke through that hole this concludes the demonstration of putting a cable onto an amphenol in an amp AMP tool